Hi, this is Clay Hearn with Applied CEX with an overview of GPU computation acceleration in SimCenter Star CCM Plus. For a couple years now, SimCenter Star CCM Plus has introduced and improved the capability for solving physics on general purpose graphic processing units, also known as GPUs. The benefit here is that a single GPU can deliver the computational performance of many CPUs in parallel with no sacrifice to solution quality. As we see here with the plots on the right for an aerodynamic simulation of an aircraft, we get the same results for CPU and GPU based solutions. In this presentation, we will show you how GPU computation can significantly reduce simulation time, actually save on energy consumption, and allow you to save money and get to market quicker. When GPU computation was initially released on Star CCM Plus, it was limited to Linux operating systems. With the latest release of 2410, you can now take advantage of GPUs with Windows operating systems. Siemens is aggressively adding new physics models for GPU computation and adding more capabilities with three releases of STAR per year. We will discuss the current state of 2410, which includes capabilities for compressible, non-compressible flow, conjugate heat transfer, chemical combustion, and hypersonic analysis. You can take advantage of GPU acceleration with the Power Session Plus license, which will allow you to run in unlimited CPUs and GPU cards. Here are some recommendations for GPU hardware to ensure stable computing. The two main players, of course, are NVIDIA and AMD with the recommended cards shown on this slide. For both manufacturers, we prefer models with high bandwidth memory to maximize performance for CFD applications. For NVIDIA cards, make sure you're using CUDA 11.8 drivers or newer, and for AMD, make sure you're using the latest GPU driver. In this presentation, we will highlight performances of NVIDIA RTX 6088 as well as the RTX 8000. As always, we suggest that you review the help documentation for the latest recommendations on GPU hardware for your version of Star CCM Plus. Each release of Star CCM Plus has been adding new physics capabilities for GPU acceleration. This slide is representative of the latest release of 2410. At the moment, GPU computation can cover a large range of use cases for compressible and incompressible flows using either the segregated or coupled solver routines. These simulations can either be steady or time dependent. All RANS turbulence models are available, including DES and LES routines. This past year, STAR was able to demonstrate the capability for performing hypersonic simulations on GPU. This takes advantage of available real gas equation of state models and the coupled solver routines. GPU can also simulate combustion using the flamlet based combustion models along with participating media radiation. The newest addition for GPU computation in 2410 is Smooth Particle Hydrodynamics, SPH. This is a meshless way of simulating highly dynamic free surface flows. We recommend that you check out the help documentation under GP GPU functionality to review the latest capabilities for your current version of Star CCM Plus. Now we'll jump to a few use case demonstrations of the benefits of GPU computation in Star CCM Plus. This first case is a re-entry simulation of the Apollo capsule hitting the high atmosphere at Mach 20. This simulation uses the equilibrium air equation of state with the coupled flow and energy solver. A rough mesh was used for this baseline study with only 4.5 million cells, but this allows the initial model to run using only 64 AMD CPU cores to solve in about 26 hours. When the problem was run on two competing GPU cards, we see significant decreases in simulation time. A single RTX 8000 solving about half the time, while the RTX 6000 solves the problem in a quarter of the time. Another interesting aspect of this study is the energy savings. In addition to the time savings, the energy consumption is dropped by a quarter of the CPU requirements. This leads to additional financial savings and a more environmentally friendly simulation. Here is the second example of using GPU computation for battery thermal management. This case is strictly conjugate heat transfer using a multi timescale approach with a transient solid solution and mapped steady state flow solutions. This is a larger model coming in at 14.5 million cells. We can compare the performance time running it on 512 AMD CPUs, four NVIDIA A100 GPU cards. With these four cards, we cut the solution time by 20%, cut the cost by 36%, and consume half the energy. Our final example is an aerodynamics case using large eddy simulation in a detailed drive air model with 128 million cells. In addition to comparing CPU to GPU performance, this model also compared the new capability in 2410 of using GPUs on Windows. 
The Windows workstation had 56 Intel CPU cores and 4 NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA GPU cards. The Linux machine had 52 Intel CPU cores and 4 NVIDIA 6000 ADA GPU cards. An additional Linux run was also performed on a cluster with 1024 CPU cores. We see from this study that GPU computation on both the Windows and Linux machines provides similar improvements to reducing computational time and we actually get a bit better results running on Windows. The final Linux study showed that we would actually need 1024 CPU cores to achieve the same performance as using four GPU cards. Essentially, each GPU card in this instance is equivalent to 256 CPU cores. As we've seen, depending on the physics applied, you can achieve significant reductions in computational time with GPUs in SimCenter Star CCM Plus. This time savings directly translates to quicker turnarounds on simulations with the ability to more thoroughly explore the design space and get to market quicker with superior designs. We've also seen a significant energy benefit which is beneficial to the environment and reducing your utility cost. The development for GPU computing is currently dynamic in Star CCM Plus with additional capabilities added in each release. Please refer to the release notes and documentation to see what's available in the current version of Star CCM Plus that you're running.